All right, so I've got it ready to go. Um, I cut it, put it in the sheath, put the sheath into the uh, gun and put a paper towel around it and stuck it in my shirt. So this is like a normal thing that's done because once it's thawed, you have to be able to keep it at a certain temperature up till the time that you get it into the cow's body. So usually people either put it in their shirt to keep it warm with their own body heat or in the waistline of their pants because that's the easiest way to do it. Now another good habit to get into is checking the straw after you're done breeding the cow so don't discard it right away because accidents do happen sometimes. Of course, less likely to happen in my instance because I'm the only one doing this. But if you're having somebody else AI your cows, it can happen. Now, if I manage to get through this process without somebody tipping this tripod over, it will be a miracle. You see some discharge here, clear signs that this cow is in heat. So I did have lubricant on my glove to help this um, process go a little bit easier on the cow. And now what I'm trying to do is find the cervix because that's the entire thing here. You can feel the cervix through the rectum of the cow and that's what you're trying to manipulate as you are doing this breeding process. So, on the cervix, um, the next thing I almost forgot, and she's pooping, which is a prime example. You don't want infections to happen. So you do want to wipe any fecal material off of there. And then you can insert the gun in an upward motion. And um, then you have to find the cervix. Now, once you're in the cow, it's more of a pull. For some reason, TikTok timed out or whatever, my phone shut off, so it didn't record the end of that, but it did go very quick and easy, and I think it was under three minutes that I had it deposited in her. So once you get it to the right spot, then you just depress the plunger and you're good to go. Um, but you do, like I said, you wanna make sure that it's the correct semen, and I don't know if you can read that, it's probably not gonna focus correctly, but it is Taishido, which is the Wagyu bull, and her calf from last year is actually right there. So that's the baby, that's the first baby that, that I made. Um, so it is a heifer, it's considered an F1, so it's a Red Angus Wagyu cross. But she was so darn healthy and she's growing so well that I was like, just do it again. Same sire and everything. So while I have these cows in here, I will draw your attention to the things on their backs. Those are called Estrotect heat detectors. And they're kind of like scratch off lotto tickets. So we stick them on their back when a cow comes into heat, like at the beginning of that other video that I made. Uh, where they're riding each other, they will scratch that off and it's very easy to detect. When it gets scratched off, you want to peel it off and then reapply after that cow leaves heat.